continue to rise. NBC Connecticut's Ryan Hanrahan joins us from Mystic with the very latest. Ryan. That's right, Jerry. Take a look at the Whitford Brook behind me, and this is normally just a trickle, but it is a raging torrent right now. And in fact, this road that I'm standing on right now, or actually just above, there's a bridge just past where I'm standing that you can't see the bridge because the water is flowing over it right now at a very, very fast clip. And further down the road in Old Mystic, they actually have uh, police and fire crews with dive suits there in case someone were to fall into the river or the brook here and they would need to be rescued. So they're on standby and roads all across Old Mystic are closed. Now, rivers such as this have probably come close to cresting and they're probably going to begin to drop very soon. However, that's not the same case on larger rivers such as the Yantic and the Quinnebog. Let's take a look at video from Norwich on the Yantic River. The current level of the river is 13.2 feet, and we're forecasting a crest of 15.1 feet, which would be record breaking. It would break the old record of 14.9 feet set back in 1982. A little bit of good news on the Yantic. It seems as in the last hour, the amount of rise on the river has begun to slow just a bit. So it's still rising, but not as fast as it was before. On the Quinnebog River in Jewett City, we are forecasting major flooding. The current level is 20.6 feet. 21 feet is needed for it to be considered major flooding. And that hasn't happened since 1955 when the river was at 29 feet. But we are expecting the Quinnebog River in Jewett City to experience major flooding. The Chetucket River in Willimantic, moderate flooding is expected. The current level is 9.5 feet. We're expecting it to rise about five more feet in Willimantic. And the Connecticut River in Middletown, major flooding is forecast. Current level is 9.6 feet. We're expecting a crest of 15.3 feet, but not until Friday. So the rivers and brooks here in New London and Wyndham counties, the big story tonight, it looks like the Yantic River will crest around 8 o'clock tonight. The Quinnebog River will probably not crest until tomorrow morning. So that means if you're in Norwich or in Jewett City or any of the surrounding towns along those rivers, don't expect a crest for another couple hours and possibly not until late tonight or tomorrow morning, especially in the Quinnebog River in Jewett City. An incredible flood display for eastern Connecticut, the worst flooding we've seen since 1955 when Hurricanes Connie and Diane moved up the coast. So this is something that's very unusual and people here will be cleaning up for quite some time. If you see any water covering the roadways, be safe. Do not cross it because we are going to have some problems all night, especially once the sun goes down and it's more difficult to see. We're live on the Groton side of Old Mystic. I'm Ryan Hanrahan, NBC Connecticut News. Lisa, back to you. All right, thanks for all that information, Ryan. We want you to look at the scene from the Pawkatuck section of Stonington in this picture. This is South Broad Street, or Route 1 near the Handel Bar Cafe. You can see some cars tried to go over the bridge and the water is up to the hood. The water's coming from the Wickety Quack Pond. And this just in, we have a voluntary evacuation going on in Montville. We'll have more information on that voluntary evacuation as soon as it becomes available. Tonight, several streets in Griswold have been evacuated. Firefighters went door to door to make sure people are safe. Lifelong residents tell us it's the worst flooding they've ever seen. NBC Connecticut's Lauren Petty continues our team coverage now with details on the Jewett City section of town. Lauren. All right, Lisa, the first luckman here is calling the situation dire. Take a look. That is Ashland behind, Pond behind me. That is where all of this rushing water is coming from. Firefighters are also here on scene along Ashland Street. That's because within the last 45 minutes, they went door to door evacuating all these homes in this low lying area. They are already seeing a lot of water down here, and there is a concern that a dam upstream could break, sending even more water this way. They wanted to make sure everyone was out. No one is being allowed back inside. They're working the water could rise all the way up, even past first floor windows. Since 6 a.m., firefighters have been going door to door, evacuating at least a half dozen streets in Griswold and Jewett City, including this latest round of evacuations of the homes along Ashland Street. The water in surrounding streams and ponds continues to rise. It's horrendous. Uh, we're in a crisis stage at this point. Uh, multiple roads are being closed, they've flooded out. Uh, I just got word a few moments ago that uh, Break Hill, uh, Breakneck Hill Road uh, dam is about to burst. Uh, so we have state uh, personnel, DEP people out there now. They're trying to secure the dam, remove some stones, etc., and try to secure it. If it breaks, there'll be multiple flooding. Uh, routes 201, Campbell Hill Road will be flooded completely. So we're in, we're in dire situation right now. Have you seen it this bad before? In, uh, I've been born and brought up in this town, and I've never seen anything quite like this.